Hey everybody, and let's continue playing Star Fox 64. And there's a quick note for you before we start. I decided that the mission that you do if you can continue with the path that I was doing before is too boring. So I decided we should do Aquas. And the way you do the hard mission of Sector Y is you have to get 100 points. Which isn't all that difficult if you know what you're doing. But it can be difficult. I found Aquas by a fluke. I didn't even mean... To. I was going back and trying to play back... um to some part of the game so I could re-record or something because I tried recording it once and it was it was just boring but I, I found this on a fluke and I just thought wow this cutscene is pretty cool looking and overall it's just it's just a more interesting level to play than the, the other part three would have been so yeah we get a pretty nice cutscene this time the great fox looking pretty epic as it sits in the water and we get a new vehicle this time too the blue marine which we shall see now in this dramatic missile launch sequence thing Yep. They even have submarines on Team Star Fox, and this thing is a bit of a bitch to control sometimes, but the trick is to abuse your torpedoes, which is the B button. And your thingy, your targeting reticle automatically lock onto them, and you just have to press B, and yeah, stuff happens. I think this, um, yeah. So right now we're investigating some kind of bioweapon that happens to be underwater. Uh, I'm not quite sure the whole thing behind that is, but that's the idea, so this is where we're going and this can be kind of difficult sometimes but eh, it's not bad it's a lot hell of a lot more interesting than the one I was doing before and this place is just freaky as hell and it's got a nice atmosphere to it I think it's got a really creepy underwater feel and you know there's something freaking bugger all going down here and yeah good it's good it's a cool level anyway um on a side note, well, anyway, okay, let me explain this real quick. You can shoot torpedoes to make uh, the darkness light up because it's extremely dark down here if you can't tell. And I was going to say, all right, let me tell you um, something I found not so long ago. There's this girl on YouTube. Her name's Lisa Levy, L-I-S-A-L-A-V-I-E. Go check her channel out, guys. She has some extremely good music on her channel. She's just an amazing vocalist, and yeah. Um, if I ever start doing like a music pick of the week or something like that, she's going to be the first one on my list because she just has some amazing stuff. Um, doesn't matter what kind of music you like, her stuff is just good. And I don't even like that kind of music that much myself. Anyway, apparently this is uh, extremely beautiful. It looks like some kind of ancient pillars. I don't know what you can get by shooting them, but let's shoot them anyway. Um, yeah, you can still barrel roll and shoot missiles and break and boost and stuff like that. So yeah, it's it's about the same as the R-Wing, except it's a little bit different to handle, and those torpedoes are unlimited instead of having limited number of bombs. And Falco constantly, like, doubts the integrity of Slippy's ship. He's always saying, you know, this thing's not gonna hold together, Fox is gonna die, ho ho ho, and he's such a faggot. Even though I love him. Not in a gay way, but, yeah. Yeah, since there really isn't much to talk about, this is just shooting. Um, I might say that I went to see, um, the sixth Harry Potter movie yesterday with, uh, Marley. It's pretty good. It's a lot more, um... What's it? A lot more flashy than uh, the other Harry Potter movies, I can tell you that. The action scenes look pretty nice. Um, yeah, it's a, I think it's a pretty good movie. There's some parts that weren't quite as dramatic as they were in the book, but, you know, what can you expect? It's it's a good little flick. I um, I definitely recommend it. Um, it's not any... I mean, the fifth the fifth movie just sucked ass, and it's not the, like the fifth movie at all. It's so much better. You, you will, I think, like this one if you like the originals. The originals weren't... I mean, were the best, of course, but you should like this one. Alright, apparently there's something behind us we need to break, and nothing happened. Is it st Oh, there it is. I see the light. Shoot it! Shoot it down! Is it gonna die? Come on! Die! Die! Damn it! Die! Yes! And I think if you kill those things, they give you gold rings, like this. I, th I think they might all do that, because those things are really freaking hard to kill. Your lasers are all but useless in this level. Trust me, use your torpedoes as much as possible. Um, right. Anyway, um, in regards to something I want to talk about, um, I want to get you guys' opinion on something that uh, Sonny brought this up, and I, I don't want, I hate to call you out Sonny, but I just, I have to get an opinion on this. He says that it's unprofessional for us to show off, show who are, what we subscribe to, and who are, um, yeah, what, who we subscribe to, and what our favorite videos are. I want to ask if, what you think about this, guys, because I don't think it's a big deal. Me, personally, I could freaking care less about professionality. I don't consider myself any kind of professional in any sense, so I don't understand the um, whole desire to be professional, but, you know, tell me what you guys think, alright? Because you guys are the ones who are watching us, and let me tell you, if there's anybody who would go to my channel and be like, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to watch your videos because you have your favorites up, 
I'm, I don't want you to be my subscriber anyway because you're a douche. I want cool subscribers, and most of the, all the subscribers I have thus far are pretty freaking cool. Um, yeah, I don't I don't like douche bags to be my subscribers, and yeah, you guys are awesome. I love you, most of you, most of you. Alex, you can you can go suck it for all I care, but whatever. Anyway, here's the boss, a gigantic enemy clam, which is nowhere near as dramatic as a gigantic enemy crab. But shoot it. That's what you gotta do. Shoot. Shoot everything. I think what you're supposed to do is shoot these um things on the top first with Shoot your torpedoes, of course. Oh, aim for the two columns. And um try and hit the two columns, damn it. Shoot my lazy. Homing torpedo. Homing torpedo. Whatever. Um yeah, I think we're supposed to shoot this. This I, I never actually made it past this boss. I died last time I tried. So we're going to see how everything turns out this time. Because, yeah. Um, sorry if I don't talk much. I'm trying to focus on fighting this thing. It's not all that easy, it doesn't seem. And I'm sorry if you can hear me fiercely clacking my buttons, but this boss is being a bitch. Anyway, I think I've destroyed the two things on the top, so I don't know what happens now. I think you just shoot the inside with your torpedoes. No, that doesn't appear to be working. Apparently I'm doing something right. Anyway, I, I'm guessing the objective is to just shoot the inside until the pillars light up, and then you shoot the pillars. I'm not exactly sure what that's supposed to eventually do, but we're going to find out. Fire your torpedoes. The torpedoes are the most important thing in your arsenal for this uh, blue marine. Okay, next time I think I might actually talk about something in Star Fox trivia-wise, but I, I can't right now because this boss is just... It's cool. I think I like this boss, and never made it past this part before, and I'm excited that I might actually beat something. I don't know how long I've been playing. I don't care. Whatever. Keep shooting. Why isn't this working? Shoot. Damn it. Working. Come on. Die. 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 I'm going to shoot it with my lasers. This is the... Ah, there we go. And uh, now I'm guessing the eye's going to open up or something. Where are the eyes? Damn it. Where are the eyes? I don't see them. Oh, I see. Is that it? Aha! Die! Bitch! That's what she said, Slippy. Oh god, I'm sorry I'm not being interesting, but this boss, I've just, I've never made it past this boss, so I've got to try my best to beat it. Plus, I don't want to do this level over again. Die! Oh, fuck. Oh. Sorry, excuse my language there, but that was annoying. Uh, I'm trying to think of something interesting to say. Um, there's a comic online. Um, after this game, Falco leaves Star Fox, Team Star Fox. And there's a comic online that explains what it's co what happens, uh, the reason he leaves Team Star Fox. I think it's called Farewell Beloved Falco or something like that. It's pretty good. And um, that kind of ties up what happened after this game pretty well. Andros gets revived in that comic, actually. It's, um, it's a nice little wrap-up, tie-up, loose-end type thing, anyway. Uh, yeah, I suggest you go check it out. And you also see Falco in the end of Star Fox Adventures. He comes and saves your ass when you're about to get killed by Andros, apparently. Oh, fuck. Why is this boss being so annoying? Am I doing something wrong? And I know Marla's gonna be thinking as he's watching this, You're doing it wrong, but I don't care. Fuck off. Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot the freaking eye! Oh, God. My, my finger's starting to get tired from pressing the R button so much. Should I even, do I even need a barrel roll here? I mean, I don't think it's gonna help. It can stop. Okay, now it's just a habit. God, fuck. Hope I don't go over the time. Might have to cut some of this out. That would suck. Yeah, that's right, bitch. I killed it. You did it. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, yeah, that's the boss. And yeah, sorry this part wasn't very funny. I wanted to get some pretty serious stuff out there. And yeah, We're preparing, preparing to, to dock. dock. Dock what? What are we doing? Oh, I think we're about to go into, um, the base or something. Yay, mission accomplished. That means we did something good. And that we did that just in time. Holy crap. Yeah, uh, we're all about to run out of time. I hope this cutscene ends before we have to leave. Come on, damn it. Come on, damn it. Come on, damn it. Go. Stop. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna have to cut some of this crap out. Some of the stuff that got cut out, I have to cut out about five seconds of video. That's bullshit. So, yeah, we won. Good stuff. Can we skip this now? Please, can we stop watching this? Excuse me. Anyway, um, this should be the end of the part. See you guys next time.